Do you guys ever wish that we were back in a prehistoric time when dinosaurs ruled the earth? <laughs> No? Am I the, the only one that has a pet dinosaur named Nugget? Just kidding. It's a wind-up toy that I got at work today because why not? So anyways, hey guys, it's Diabetic Girl. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to do a first impression video of the Medtronic Minimed Connect system. And you guys are probably like, oh my god, the last time she did a review or a first impression, she like bashed the crap out of the company. Don't worry, I actually only have two things to say that were negative, and I'm going to get right into those, and then we can talk about all the positive aspects and all the parts of this system that I love. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so my biggest problem with this system is that when you open it, and when you get this screen, it says uploader weak signal, and then it says updating, and that's if you, like, close it out completely. So basically, I, as some of you may know, I have it in my drop down menu. So basically, in order for the drop down menu and everything to update, this has got to be open at all times. And it does take up data, um, doesn't run as fast on data as it does on Wi Fi. And the it like disconnects from the actual uploader. You know how like when you have something Bluetooth, but then you don't use it for a while, it like disconnects and then you can press a button and it reconnects. That's how this is. Um, and my problem is that where it's supposed to be reading constantly, I don't think it should be disconnecting as often. But that's just me. So if you want constant results on your phone, do not be closing the app, which to me is a little stupid. But just my personal opinion. Um, and then my other negative was that when I had called Medtronic yesterday, they told me that the texting on the system was actually down. So I'm hoping that I can go get it to fix in a little while, like after I finish this video, um, and see what's going on there. They said it was going to take up to a, a half a day to a full day to get it fixed. So that's a little inconvenient. But, you know, speed bumps happen all the time, and that's how I'm trying to look at it. Um, so yeah. Um, overall, I'm very, very impressed. I think there are a few things that could be added to make it a little bit more impressive, but it doesn't need to be that much more in depth than it already is. I actually really enjoy this. You know, I like the color screen. I'm 145 right now. I like the color screen. I like the way it looks on carelink.com, which is where my, um, which is where, like, my, my, like, care people see it. I'm sorry that it took so long to figure out. So, I'm logging on to carelink.com right now so you guys can all see it. It looks almost exactly the same. It's a little bit different, but that's how it looks on carelink.com, and then on the bottom shows you my missed notifications, my active insulin. I really like it on the website as well, and the, if as long as you your care partners have your login credentials, then they can see this, and that's pretty cool if you ask me. So all of my caregivers have my login credentials so that they can check everything out, and I really like being connected. I enjoy that a lot, obviously, about this. Um, I really like that people can see everything and that, you know, it's specific and specialized for each person. So, like, Kai has text messages. My mom just has the screen. I really think that's cool. I think that there's a lot that could be learned from this. And I'm really excited moving forward because my first 24 hours were, like, wonderful. It was connected when I woke up this morning for our, the shower and, like, to get ready for work. Um, it worked wonderfully at Michael's today. I kept the app open when I got to work because I have, like, the Wi-Fi over at Michael's. So I decided to leave it open, and it updated fairly quickly. And when I pulled it down in the drop-down, it was pretty good. And, like, now we've got the updating. Oh, now we don't. It says what it is. But um, I was fairly impressed. Like, honestly, pretty impressed. So this was, like, so wonderful, so great. And, of course, because I like to fiddle around with things, there's always going to want to be something I'm going to gonna want to change. Um, I think that they should be adding notifications 
for the pump on your phone. You know, because sometimes it can be really hard to finagle whatever you need, um, you know, depending on where you are, what you're doing. But that's just me personally. Um, I also, like, I like this a lot. Um, for those of you who don't know, when I work at Michael's, I have a vest and a scanning gun and, like, a walkie-talkie. So, I find that checking the phone is a little bit easier than trying to pull the pump out and, like, having to move my walkie-talkie and everything. Because I have a very specific science to how everything is on my body when I'm at work, obviously. Um, so this made that a little bit more convenient. It was also a lot easier. I do, like, I unload trucks in the morning when they come in. It's part of my job. And it was a lot easier to just, like, pull the drop-down menu when I had a second and look than to try to pull out the pump and, like, wrestle the pump out of my pants pocket. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. I mean, everyone is different in their own way. So I wouldn't necessarily, like, guarantee that you're going to feel that way. That's just how I feel kind of thing. Um, but, I mean, very, very impressed. Again, my biggest complaint is that you need to have the app open at all times in order for it to update. But I guess that, like, that will come as the app and the device get better, then those changes will come and I am totally okay with that and waiting it out and seeing where it goes because I really want to see where it goes. I'm really excited about this. Um, I think it'll be really, really, really good. Overall, again, very, very impressed. Uh, don't have a ton of negatives to say. I was very impressed. And I know I said I would give a review, which I will be doing, um, but I figured I would wait and get information from all of my care partners first and then really really go into everything. I also learned a couple of new things on the app so I'm going to go ahead again and open it. Upload our weak signal. I should have kept it open. I don't know why I didn't. I'm not that smart I guess. Someone's walking outside my window. I told you I have a window right there. Well in that video right there. So, one of the things that I learned, and hopefully this will, okay, now that it's connected again. So when you go to your drop-down menu and you hit sync to care link and it brings you to this screen, which again, if I was on my Nikon, you could totally see, but because I am not, you cannot see. And there is an upload now button so I can download all of my reports and look at them and see what's going on. So that is like basically me syncing to care link which I think is pretty darn cool. I kind of wish that it was automatic, but you know, you can't always get what you want. I also really like, and I don't know if I touched base with this in yesterday's video, that it tells me that I have 222.6 units left in my reservoir and that I have two days left on my sensor, which is true, I have to change it Thursday night. Um, trying to see doesn't look like there's a way for the app to auto update for the care link which is okay by me um and it's still uploading but oh I'm just kidding okay so again like really impressed um although I am noticing it runs better on wi-fi than it does data and that very well could be because I didn't have the app open when I was at work yesterday and I only opened it like ever so often to check it uh, because I wasn't I was fine with just using my pump uh, so I mean that's that again very very impressed also I learned that you can actually scroll through your readings to see everything and you can scroll out the highest you can go is a 24-hour graph which you are looking at right now and then Next would be your 12 hour graph. And then your three hour graph, which mine is pretty boring. I mean, I have to say, I'm very impressed with the entire, like the pump, the sensor, 
and the Connect. I'm very impressed. I have noticed my blood sugars are going down tremendously, and for those of you who didn't know, I had an A1C of 11.9 the last time I went to Joslyn, and I'm now 8.8, .8 and still coming down, so it's been a definite work in progress, um, but I'm really starting to feel a lot better about all of this, and I'm beginning to notice a huge change in my attitude and the way I sleep. Um, I'm just very excited to be back on track, if you will, um, and I'm definitely staying this way. I don't know why I fluctuated so constantly between not taking care of it and, like, wanting to take care of it, but this is definitely, like, the best place for me to be right now. I feel really good about everything, which is wonderful, uh, and I'm just, I'm really, really happy with myself. I also see the mailman outside. I wonder if he has my, my nail wrap box, because I would like to put on new wraps. Yeah, that's how I'm going to end today's video. But anyways, if you guys have any questions at all about any Medtronic product, chances are I probably have an answer for you. So if you guys want to comment down below with your questions, comment down below on what you want to see next. Do you want to see a day in the life video, an overall review of the entire system? like, all together, like, give me two weeks to do it, so then I have everything in place. What do you guys want to see next? Let me know down below, and thank you for all of your love and support, and I will see you all later. Bye!